NASA tackles some of the greatest problems faced by mankind. But its reputation for achieving the impossible also creates unease among those who do not trust the United States government. On December 9, 2009, the people of Norway are preparing for the historic arrival of President Barack Obama. But for the inhabitants of one northern town, the day will be remembered for a very different reason. It's just before sunrise, people are getting ready to go out and take the kids to school. Suddenly they see a strange light rising in the east behind the mountain. News of the weird light in the mountains spreads fast. People were running around asking each other, what the hell is this thing? As the stunned residents look on, the phenomenon morphs from a simple glowing beam into a twisting vortex of light. Within a few seconds, a giant spiral hundreds of miles wide dominates the pre-dawn skies. Witnesses are still trying to understand what they're seeing, when without warning, it disappears. As people watch this amazing sight, suddenly a black hole appears in the middle and swallows the entire apparition. It's one of the most incredible things that the people had ever seen. Dozens of videos and photos of the sighting soon emerge from witnesses as far away as Sweden. It becomes known as the spiral anomaly. Many observers declare this event an elaborate hoax. No natural phenomenon could create such a perfect shape in the sky. But as more and more eyewitness accounts emerge, it soon becomes clear this is a genuine mystery. One theory emerges that the spiral could be nothing more than an extreme form of aurora borealis, or northern lights. If you lived in Norway, you're used to seeing shimmering curtains of green and pink in the sky. You're not used to seeing a big spiral in the sky. People in Norway know what the northern lights look like. This wasn't it. With natural phenomena ruled out as a possible cause, Norwegians start to suspect the involvement of Russian military forces across the nearby border. Russia flatly denies all knowledge of any strange cloud or beam of light. So that begs the question, what the heck is this thing? 